Welcome back to today's edition of Make It Happen Mondays, where we talk about how to make your content actually happen. Now today, I'm gonna to show you three really easy zoom effects that you can do right inside Final Cut Pro. We'll talk about jump cuts, which are super common, and I'll talk about slow zooms, which can be really good for highlighting items within your video. And then finally, I'll show you my personal favorite way of doing these easing zooms, which I use all the time throughout all of my videos. And don't forget, if you wanna see more of these types of tutorials, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, so here we are in side funnel cut. And the first thing we're going to talk about is those jump cuts. And these are super common on YouTube. You'll see them all the time. And they're really great for breaking up your content and emphasizing key points. So as you can see, we've got a standard A roll shot of me talking about a light. Let's just say when I bring the light in, I really want to emphasize that point. So all we have to do is find the spot where I bring the light in, which is about here. And then I'm going to create a cut. Now you can use the blade tool by hitting B or selecting the blade here. And then and clicking in the spot that you want to make a cut but an easier way to do it is just with command b so hit command and b together and then that will make a cut on the exact spot where you've got the playhead sitting. And if you want to learn more Final Cut keyboard shortcuts, then I've got a cheat sheet that I've created, which you can download for free in the description. Okay, so now that I've created my first cut, I want to create my second cut where I want the jump cut to jump back to the normal position. So let's just watch ahead a little bit. And then let's just say I want the jump cut to end about here. So let's just create another cut, go Command B. Now we've got two cuts. And in order to make the jump, and the zoom, just select the clip that we want the effects to be applied to, and then go up here to your inspector window. And the area we wanna focus on is the transform area. Now the easiest way to adjust the clip is to hit this little square button here, and this will select this particular clip and allow us to move it around as you can see. Now I'm just gonna hit Command Z to undo that. And we just wanna gently zoom in. So we just come here to the scale slider and then zoom it in to wherever it looks right to us. So I reckon somewhere around 115% looks pretty good. But as you can see, my head is now cut off. So now I just need to drag it down a little bit to a position where it looks about right. So that looks pretty good to me. And then just hit done. And now if we go back to the original clip and then play it back, you can see that jump cut is applied at that spot where I made the cut. And then it's gonna jump back to the original zoom level where I made the second cut. And that is literally all there is to it when it comes to a basic jump cut. All right, so the second type of zoom is a little bit more involved. And this type of zoom is perfect if you're trying to really direct the eye of the viewer onto a particular item within your shot. So for me, I want my viewers to be really focusing on the light rather than anything else that's going on around it. So all you have to do is find the start point where we want the zoom to begin. So for me, it's right at the start of the clip. Once again, select our clip so it's got the yellow border around it. And then again, come up to the transform area. Again, hit the little square icon so that our clip is selected and adjustable. And then here where we've got scale, I wanna add a keyframe. And a keyframe is kind of like the starting point of any animation. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to animate a zoom onto our clip. So if I add a keyframe just here, now Final Cut remembers that at this point, within my clip, I want the zoom level to be 100%. And I'm also gonna do the same thing for the position. So I'm gonna add a keyframe for the position. So Final Cut remembers, I want at this point in the clip, position to be zero and zero. Now I'll just jump ahead to where I want the zoom to end. So let's say about here, and I'm gonna adjust the scale to be at the position where I want the zoom to end. So for me, let's go aggressive, we'll go about 140%. And I'm also gonna adjust the position. So I want the light to be more centered than where it's at currently. So I'm just gonna hit hit the zero and click and drag. Then I'm gonna move the light to end up roughly in the center of the frame. And as you can see, what's happened is that keyframes have automatically been added for the position and the scale. So if I go back to the start of the clip and hit play, as you can see, we now have a slow zoom in and it's even gonna move the position so that it ends up at the exact point where we want it to. And that is all there is to it for a slow zoom. You can use this method to start from basically any point within your clip and end up at any other point within the frame. Now, the last type of zoom I wanna talk about is those easy using in zooms, which I mentioned before. And I use these all the time. I think they're really good for talking headshots and emphasizing key points, but you can use them for emphasizing other things. And to do this, I use a plugin called MCamRig and it's totally free to download. There's a link in the description, which you can go and get it. Just follow the instructions on the website on how to install it. And then once you've installed it, you can go up to here to your generators section. And then in here, you're gonna find MCamRig. Just click and drag that onto your clip that you wanna add the zoom to. Now, if I play this back, 
it's going to zoom in automatically, which is already really cool, but obviously it's not in the position that I want it to be in. So I'm just going to make sure the M cam rig overlay is selected and then go up here to the little T icon, which is a title inspector, click on that. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of settings that I can adjust for this plugin. And there's really only two that I focus on. First is the depth of field blur amount. So as you can see, when it zooms in currently, it blurs a little bit and then refocuses. I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna take that out. I'm gonna make that 0%. So now when it zooms, there's no blurriness. And then the second thing is the camera angle of view which is currently set to 98 degrees, but that basically is just the zoom level. So if I just take it back to zero, that's all the way zoomed out. And I want it to zoom into about here. And then same as before, I don't want my head to be cut off. So I'm just gonna click this little circle in the middle and drag it. And this is gonna adjust my end point. So I like how it looks about there. Just let go, head back to the start of the clip and then hit play. And as you can see, it's added a really nice, gentle, easy ease, and it's gonna end up exactly where I want it to. Another nice thing about using M Cam Rig is that it will animate a zoom out. So as you can see, it's gonna zoom out to the original position. If you don't want that, just turn off the out animation within the settings, or you can even turn off the in animation and just have an out animation, it's up to you. And then once you're happy with an animated effect, you can literally just copy and paste this throughout your video and add a whole bunch of consistent zooms. Just makes it so much easier. It's a lot faster than manually keyframing every zoom that you wanna do. So I highly recommend checking it out. Lastly, don't forget to check out that Funnel Cut Pro cheat sheet below. And if you wanna see more quick and easy tutorials on how to use Funnel Cut Pro, then check out my Make It Happen Mondays playlist where I've got a whole bunch of these types of videos.